Oh, look at that, it's super exciting. A Volvo S80, 3.2 liter. Yeah, safest automobile, five star rated. Okay, this particular Volvo S80 has 93,415 approximate miles. Customer states, check engine light, and uh, the trunk does not open and it makes a grinding noise sometimes. Oh, what do I do here? Oh. Here, hang on, hang on, I'm confused. We've got this stupid thing on the fob. There we go. Yeah, it, yeah, it makes a grinding noise. It sounds very chunky. Yeah, they say the noise goes away once the car heats up. Okay, well, let's go find that real quick. While it's doing it. It's odd stopped as soon as I put it in drive okay yeah oh it sounds grindy everywhere all right since time is of the essence popping the hood Ingenious. Okay, so I'm trying to figure out what this grinding noise is. Grinding. And drive, we have no noise. You hear it go away? There it is. In reverse, it makes more noise. But I think I found it. Yeah, see that right there? That broken mount? What it's doing is this engine is rattling around vibrating and that's the grinding noise Okay, one problem located. Let's see what's up with the trunk. We're off to a bad start with this trunk issue. It is broken. And if we look up here, the button is very broken and the fob will not actuate the release mechanism. So I gotta figure out how to get into there. This should be fun. Now, although the button is broken, I can see like a micro switch right there. You see that guy? Little white thing sticking out. Ooh. It's working. Oh, I think I might have. I figured this out. Let's see. You gonna open? Yeah. Oh, yes. Got it. Two. Hmm, more tape. All right. It's like a key slot right here, but I can't get the thing open. Oh well, it's open now, so it doesn't matter. Yeah, we're gonna have to find uh, whatever component this is from Volvo and replace that unit. So we're gonna need the diagram. Okay. All right, back inside. Let's see what this uh, check engine light says. Powering on, scan tool. Mm, what do we got here? A Volvo with a V. Okay, repowering on. Automatic ID. Let's go into engine menu. I don't see a check engine light here. Hmm. Well, we'll see. Codes menu. Oh my god. They're everywhere. Fuel rail pressure. Idle air control. EVAP system leak. Twice. Fuel rail pressure again with a different trouble code. 
Idle speed again. Wow. TCM output speed circuit. Well, that's a lot of codes. Oh, there's that light. There it is. Okay, well, unfortunately here, it appears that the majority of uh, what's going on are independent systems of each other. So we've got something going on with the fuel rail pressure sensing system uh, that may be caused by an improper pressure or could be a sensor issue, could be wiring issue. Uh, looks like it's running at a higher RPM than it was supposed to. That's uh, That involves the idle air control system separate from the fuel system. We have some evap emissions leaks detected. That's kind of separate and we're again redressing the, the fuel pressure one more time with the uh, idle speed inaccurate. So it looks like a pair of these are related. These two are related. These two are related. And these two are related right here. So we've got three sets of related codes. I'm gonna go ahead and document this stuff. We weren't going down a full on diagnostic uh, path with all these, um, well, with this check engine light. So uh, we're gonna document this and then uh, we'll have a chat with the owner and see if they want to uh, go down any roads of repair regarding these. Um, each of these, uh, subsystems is kind of going to be its own separate diagnostic path so it won't be you know find one part and it cures all of this we've got a few things going on here that have been stacking up over time that makes it hard for me because i don't know which one started first lizard that's a bad idea buddy you uh you don't want to be in there get out of there he's trying to fight us there he goes oh no the worst has happened we have diagnosed this car, and uh, they have declined repairs. Time to collect my goodies. Goodbye, sideways six-cylinder. No, I'm just kidding. I think they're gonna be back later. The guy's gotta go to work. So we're gonna back this thing out and give it back to the guy. So uh, hopefully, my stuff will show up this afternoon, and uh, I can fix this motor mount Unparking Parking the brake. There we go. Now we got it. All right, guys. Well, if uh, if my guy doesn't come back to have us uh, fix the mount and the trunk thing, then uh, that will be the end of this video. As always, I'd like to thank you guys for watching. I certainly hope the guy does come back. That way, I don't leave you guys hanging with another non-repair video. Uh, regardless of what happens, as always, I'd like to thank you again for watching. And most importantly, before I go, I have to wish each and every one of you a great day. See you guys later. Bye. Okay, back again. It's the next day. Uh, interesting twist of events here. Uh, first things first, I grabbed the wrong key, so I'll be right back. Okay, take two. I now have the correct key. So, uh, as I was saying, the customer has decided that they would, in fact, like to have the uh, broken engine mount replaced. So, we're going to swing this guy back into the building and do that real quick. That way that uh, annoying, grinding, rattly, buzzy noise fixes itself and goes away. Ring. That is so loud. I'll just nuzzle this guy in right over here. Done. It's hot in here. Let me out. And parking brake set so I can re-pop in Z-Hood. Alrighty, got my new Duralast manufactured mount for a Volvo. That's gonna go right there for now, and you guys sit on top of this so it doesn't go anywhere. And uh, let's go ahead and pull this old one out. It's uh, It looks easy, but I do believe that's deception. You know what I find odd about this is someone's already had this out. See the witness marks on the bolts right here? This has already been out, and then they put it back in while broken. I don't know. Anyway, let's, uh, let's pull this uh, coolant tank out or out of the way. Oh, no, no, no. We're not dropping stuff today. We're, we're just not going to do that. It's not the day for that. We're also not going to break little plasticky Volvo pieces either. Whoa! Plasticky Volvo pieces either. Come out. More pry bar. 
I feel like using the wrong tool on this, so that's what I'm going to do. Okay, do I have enough space to get those nuts and bolts out of there? Probably. I wasn't thrilled about the idea of taking these lines off, but I think I'm going to have to if I can. Yeah. Yeah, you just stay there. Whatever. <laughs> All right, I've got space. I can uh, I can work with this. Okay, now seeing as how these hoses are leaking, I'm just gonna shove a tire patch in there. Uh, that should uh, plug those up. Okay. Now they can stop leaking. Ingenuity. And we'll tuck these over here to our right and get them out of the way. Alright, get these bolts out. Reverse click. <laughs> yeah, it's uh, definitely broken. Mm, okay. Oh, that's not a nut, that's part of this mount. Huh, it's broken in two places. Alright. Uh, with the bad and with the good. reconnect our connector. This is the low coolant level sensor. You go there. Bolt this guy back in real quick like. And let's get these guys back where they go. Nice. And let's uh, replace the coolant that was spilled. And we'll recheck for that vibration slash grindy noise. Your name is Pita. Uh -huh. Yeah. Your yeah. name is Pita. Pita Rock. So we didn't spill much coolant, but uh, that's no excuse to not refill what we spilled. And we're good. Oh, this cap is uh, displeasing me. Clean up the tools here and toys and whatnot. Recheck the noise. Alrighty, let's see what we're gonna do here. Foot on brake, starting the engine. Quiet. Quiet. Quiet again. Nice. Alrighty, so for the second time in two days, we're backing this out. 
Uh, I have completed all requested repairs that were asked of us. Um, I've already uh, done a sign off on this video, so I'm not gonna do another one and I'm not gonna re-record it. So again, as always, thank you guys for watching. See you guys later. Have a great day, bye. Repowering down, pew, all done. Let's get out of here, it's hot again.